Hello everybody, Zach here, and welcome back to another GTA 5 Mod Showcase, Anna Chase Me. Today we're going to be driving the McLaren Elva, uh, which I just watched a smoking tire on this recently, and it's a ridiculous over-the-top car that has no business being produced, but it's being produced by McLaren. Of course, right? That's what McLaren's in the business of doing. Ridiculous over-the-top cars uh, that are awesome, nonetheless. So yeah, this has no windshield. And it has like a weird like thing up in the front that this car doesn't or this model doesn't have, but like is like a splitter. I'm not necessarily going to go into those details because I don't have that type of functionality in here, but this model looks pretty cool. And uh, I'm excited to drive it around as per usual. Link will be in the description if you want to pick up this mod for yourself and uh, do go and show the mod creator some love over there. So. Let's hop in this thing, see how it handles. Um, I already know it handles a little bit. Well, it's a handful. Let's just say that. What does this look like? It. Ooh. Now it's going to be a little bit over the top bright because of NVE. And uh, oh, yes. The fact that this has no windshield, is, it's ridiculous. Let's go ahead and put our seatbelt on. Seatbelt for safety, kids, because what we're going to be doing is over the top and we really should be wearing our seatbelt. <laughs> oh my God, it's already doing 100 miles an hour. It's not even breaking a sweat. This is just, like I said, it's a handful. Oh, wow. The handling actually makes you drive it. I know that sounds stupid, but you know, there's a lot of definitely GTA supercars and hypercars and all that stuff that don't have any real handling physics. So the fact that this actually does, that's kind of impressive. It actually wants to rotate. It actually wants to, ha it has like physical, it's so awesome. Awesome job for the mod creator here. That's huge that you can implement that kind of thing. And we can do 150 almost down these city streets, which is not smart. So let's go ahead because that would definitely get the cops called on you. Let's go ahead and get some cops here. If you haven't been here for a chase me before, we get stars. We try to lose the cops in GTA. We do some other fun stuff along the way, as well as you get to see me scratch up the McLaren Elva. That's about $30,000 worth of damage probably. <laughs> okay, so the cops are already here. I'm not gonna fix that. We don't need to fix that. We just need to run from the police. Um, Wow. This thing is fast and pretty planted. I, you know, it does want to rotate, but it's, it is pretty planted. It's got great, uh, uh, overall handling characteristics, even though it is a little bit hard to handle too hot to handle. Am I right? Oh, I'm already scratching it up on every corner. Look away now. If you don't want to see a car get utterly destroyed though, because that's inevitably what happens in these. <laughs> We're doing 170 after that jump. That's why you wear your seatbelt. Okay, police station's right there. I'm in a car with no roof. That's also not going to benefit us in the chase me, I'll be honest, because uh, you get shot at, and that's not gonna be good for us. Yep, wanted to slow down there. Oh, wanted to slow down there because of exactly that. Oh, we already broke some back wing portion. What the hell kind of car was that? Man, 5M just keeps updating and adding more and more stuff into the world, which I can appreciate. And I say it almost every video because there's just more vehicles and more uh, random events that I see happen that I'm kind of blown away to see in uh, 5M. So that's really cool. And if they're synced between everybody, even better. If they're actually synced. Okay. So I want to get this on the highway though, because I really do want to stretch out its legs. And uh, I'm curious what it'll do on the highway. So give me a second here to get on the highway. Oh, yep. See, that's what I said about rotating. It it breaks loose. So yeah, I watched the smoking tires video on this thing. That's just over the top. It's just all all of it is over the top. And yes, it's allowed to be right. It's a McLaren. It's built for a purpose, basically. Is this thing like entirely carbon fiber? I think it might be. Or most of it. All right, I'm going to, oh yeah, gas station repair. So in the last couple episodes, what we've been doing is, and not that I've been 100% following it. Yeah, because you, you see these lines on it. 
It makes me think that the entire body's like carbon, but I don't, I don't know. Or did I pick a livery that's like doing that? I don't know. All right, we're at the gas station. They also can't see us, so that's beneficial. And we're gonna pick up a uh, quick repair kit here. Beautiful. And we'll head back out. Let's see what this thing can do. All right. Doing 150 almost. You jerk. Oh my God. I hate the GTA physics of the cops just shooting across. Well, GTA physics, GTA logic of them just shooting across like that. Here we go. This will work for us. Wow. Based on the handling, I didn't know that that was going to work for us. It worked out. All right. I'm doing 155. Let's see what it looks like in here. Oh my God. Look at that. I honestly thought it would go faster. And it probably, and honestly, it probably does. All right, let's go through Sandy here. Wow. Yeah, let's not upset the rear end here. <gasps> Just obliterated that biker back there. Okay, I think we could lose two stars here. Let's go ahead and hide out on the say hide out. We're out in the bright orange McLaren covered. Hide right here. Come on. I can lose two stars here, right? Yep. We lost two stars. So let's go ahead. Uh try for four here. Three. Try for three. Up into four. It also has liveries. I'm curious to see what the liveries look like on here. So we'll be doing some livery changes on the fly here. We got helicopters coming in. I should not be trying to do some vehicle option livery stuff while I'm getting shot at and I'm driving this thing through the desert. Not the smartest move there, Zach. Ooh, look at that. What in the hell? So those lines must be, well, that's cool looking. I guess I didn't match the orange. Aren't you glad I didn't ask the orange? No, nobody is. Okay. So that's cool though. Look at that. <gasps> oh my God. This looks like what it would be like at a show, you know, nobody would, well, somebody might spec it out like this, but come on. Or as like a race, quote unquote race car. I mean, this thing can probably legitimately go out on a track and just destroy and I'm wondering how much weight it saves by not having the front windshield and all of that stuff does it still have airbags I'm I'm curious gonna need to okay let's hmm military base but how I'm driving this thing on the dirt oh, I guess that is the I guess I, 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 I'm assuming that's the fire Right, I'm assuming that look is intentional. If not, so be it. I'm assuming that's the fiber, the fiber optics, <laughs> the fiber optics. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> carbon fiber. Oh my God, get out of the way. Oh yeah, not a repair point yet. See, that's me trying to break old habits because I just want to go up into there and repair. And some people ask, like, why not? Well, then why not put God mode on? It's just visually. I'm a I'm a visual repairer. <gasps> because I do not repair when we got, you know, uh, flattened tires and all that stuff. I'm like a visual. We're going to go around that spike strip. This thing should have no problem getting into the military base, though. Getting out on one piece, another question. Or another challenge all in its own right. See how I'm, I, I'm like, I wish you could see. I'm f really fighting this thing to keep this thing on the road. This is the physics. Like I said, I appreciate that. Was this guy here one time before I was in another guy? And that guy looks like he needs to eat a couple Rice Krispies treats. I don't know why Rice Krispies treats, but he should eat something. All right, let's go. Is that any potato mods on the line? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Love it. Shout out to Potato Mods. 
Oh, no, 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 no. If there's a spike strip across there. There was. There was. Bad. That's not good. Oh, it was already... It was already a handful. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're still going to try to get into the... To the, uh... Into the base. Really can't turn this around very well without... We're going to try. We're going to try nonetheless. Who's ready? Who's, who wants to do it? We're doing this. Yeah, we're going to get in. We're going to get in. No problems. 140. Going to slow us down a lot. Yes. We cleared it. Not with a lot of room to spare. We cleared it nonetheless. Oh, yeah. Look at those military base shots. Wow. That's a close angle of that back end. What's going on? I think we're going to have to... Oh, I'm just fearful that I'm fearful that there's going to be a tank around here. I'm fearful that we're not going to get out. I'm fearful that we're going to get shot at because I have no windshield. Whoa. Putting up on two wheels there, but there were no tanks. And I'm wondering if there's no tanks. We have not seen tanks the last. Well, maybe only the last one or two. Okay. But we'd have four stars because we would. I'm gonna try to keep. I try to keep this. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, this chasing series is fully legit or anything, but I try to do it. I try to make it challenging not only for myself but also for the sake of you guys, because I want something that's exciting and I want to have a pain where they shoot out another tire and I'm on my roof and I'd be dead. I guess I wouldn't be dead there. You know, the that's probably reinforced at the top, but like you're pretty. <laughs> oh, this thing through the mud, we got another pop tire. Which one is it? Rear left. Your rear left is out. I love how the east, the uh, computers just probably like hanging in there. Like, oh, you got a, you got a tire puncture. You got a flat tire. You should have run flat. These would not be run flats. Well, I don't think they would be. All right, bad. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I don't have traction and I can't turn. Two recipes for that biker to not have a great day. And I don't know why I would go up this road. Another biker, man. There's a lot of bikers out here today. They are not going to be happy about how their day is going to go after this. Sorry. Oh, maybe he was happy about that. He got a sweet jump out of it. I, I keep spinning the thing. Oh, God. Did they just take out another tire? I think they did. Oh, I'm going to have one tire. Yep. I hear it. This is not, this is not going to end well. Well, a great car nonetheless, but I, I think we're going to be, it's going to be very sh Wow, we didn't even get through that stop. Yeah, you ended it for good, all right. Let's get back in our newly destroyed there in here. What an awesome mod, though. Uh, awesome looking. Uh, like I said, an actual challenge to, to handle. I don't know if this, the lines are from it being like carbon fiber or... It's a problem that I is something I did. I don't know. Um, I also do use a converter to convert these into uh, being able to be used in 5M. They're not 5M ready. Usually most most of the vehicles I'm using are not 5M ready. So I do want to disclose that because that should not be an indicator of the, the mod, but it could be. That's all I got to say about it. Well, I appreciate you guys coming along for this mod showcase. What the hell are you? <laughs> What's that guy doing? Um, it was fun, and uh, I think it was a I think it was a good challenge. I think this vehicle did pretty well. If you want to check out the mod for yourself, link is in the description. As per usual, I do appreciate you coming out and watching. And if you want to support the channel, early access, what have you, link is in the description. As per usual, if you want to become a YouTube member, or if you want to join over on Patreon, no preferred method for me. Everything's basically the same in terms of benefits. That's all I got. Uh, live streaming a couple times a week here uh, and probably on Twitch eventually. So appreciate you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.